I had a request for this problem from last quarter's exam, which is a sequencing problem. You had a hexapeptide. So right away, I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six spots for my peptide. It was identified, and you did amino acid analysis, and you found that you had two GLXs. They could either be two glues, two glutamate, uh, glutamines, or one glutamate and one glutamine. So you can't tell the difference between the two. You also have one arginine, one serine, one methionine, and one phenylalanine. You do a set of experiments to figure out the sequence. And for this problem, you're asked to work through it stepwise. So the first clue is you get treatment of the peptide with FDNB, and you get a derivative of serine. So this tells you that serine is at the end terminus because Sanger identifies the end terminal amino acid. And then I'll go down here and put serine there. The next thing is that you treat the oligopeptide with chymotrypsin and that causes a release of free methionine. So chymotrypsin, you don't have to memorize where it cuts. You'll be provided with a protease table, just like the one I showed you in class. And chymotrypsin cuts on the C side, carbonyl side, of phenylalanine, tryptophan, and tyrosine. So if it causes a release of free methionine, one option, actually, let's go back and look at the amino acids we have. We've got arginine, serine, and methionine and phenylalanine. So we only have one of these amino acids that will get a cut on the C side by chymotrypsin. So with just one cut, how do you get a free methionine? Well, you'd get a, you get a free methionine if you cut with one cut at the end and if methionine was right there. So that would mean that phenylalanine had to be in the spot next to it. So for, to get points for part B, you had to explain that in your own words. So because there's a free methionine and only one phenylalanine, one cut releases methionine if it's at the end, and phenylalanine is to the left of it. This is a little different from the explanation I have in the key. A lot of different explanations were accepted. So the next clue that you're given is that you treat the oligopeptide with trypsin and you get two tripeptides. So the way to get two tripeptides is if you get a cut right here. And so when you look on the table of proteases, you see that trypsin cuts on the carbonyl side of lysine and arginine. So that makes arginine in that location. So arginine is in spot number three because two tripeptides were produced. That's not the end of this clue. At pH seven, both products had a neutral charge. And so at pH seven, we know that arginine has an R group with a positive charge. If both of these peptides had neutral charges, then that must mean that there's a glutamate here to cancel out that positive, leaving glutamine in that last position. So then you just write an explanation. Glue has to be next to arg 
to cancel out. Charge. Or something like that. Again, I think the key has a slightly different explanation. Hopefully that helps. And good luck studying.